Hey guys, in this video I will be unboxing the Novo 7 Aora or Aura, however you pronounce it. Uh, let's take a look at the box. On the front of the box we have a picture of the tablet which is accessing the Engadget website funnily enough. Uh, let's take a look at the back of the box. Um, it is unfortunately not in English though we can make out some of what it is saying. It supports HDMI out, it has 1GB of DDR3 RAM, it has a 2 megapixel front facing camera, it has Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich which is pretty impressive. Um, I believe that it has um, Android um, 4.0.3 running on it at the moment. We have Wi-Fi BGN, uh, it has a 3700mAh battery, it has a 7 inch IPS display, and it has a mini core A10 1.2 GHz processor which is basically the Cortex A8 processor so let me open the box now unfortunately my box is a little bit damaged I received it like this which is a little bit um, annoying, frustrating uh, the first thing you will see is a picture of the tablet, the device which pops up and the tablet will be underneath uh, and the first thing you will notice is that it looks a bit like the Blackberry Playbook or the Kindle Fire. It's definitely thinner than the, Black the Blackberry Playbook, probably thinner than the Kindle Fire. Um, you know, it's okay though, I have to admit, the build quality isn't great. You know, it feels pretty solid on this end. Though on this end I can sort of push it in a bit, it doesn't have the greatest build quality. So you can't expect too much when the um, tablet is so cheap and it has such good specifications. Um, I obviously have the black colour, it's also available in white. And you can get it in an 8GB, 16GB variant and I believe there is also a 32GB, though I have yet to see one. Um, I got the 8GB variant because I couldn't source the 16GB for a couple of weeks. Um, there's only really a $20 price difference between the different amounts of storage, which is pretty good. Uh, we have a speaker in the bottom left-hand corner. Um, on the bottom here it says Novo 7 Aora made in China, and it's got a few other things like the factory, etc. Um, on the top here we have a couple of buttons. We have the power button, the volume control, and some sort of back button. We don't have any buttons on the right-hand side. Um, on the left hand side we have a few different things uh, we have a headphone jack we have a micro SD um, card slot we have a HDMI slot we have a mini USB slot, not micro USB, a mini USB which is a little frustrating and we have another slot here, I'm not sure what it is um, for though it's not for the headphones I will have to um, have a look into that um, though I might turn the tablet on in a minute and that must be the 2 megapixel camera up there it's a bit hard to see with all of the different bubbles on the screen now let's pull this out of the box that's all one piece ok we have another box within the box I'm just going to throw that over there and let's see what we have in here we have um, some sort of user guide, it's probably not going to be in English nope, it's not in English which is unfortunate some of it's in English, they're not much of it we have what looks to be a warranty card, though once again it's not in English so it's a little bit useless we have um, an included HDMI cable which is pretty good, even the expensive, you know Android tablets that cost you know $600 don't come with a HDMI cable half the time considering that you can get this device for you know $120 in China that's pretty good uh, what do we have here this looks to be a mini USB cable we also have a bit of a mini USB or uh, mini USB to USB cable so I believe that you can plug in um, USB um, flash drives and you can even connect um, a USB modem. It doesn't have built-in 3G though, it is compatible with certain USB modems which is pretty good though I would personally never do that. We have what must be headphones in here and they're completely sealed so they're going to know if you have opened them for hygiene re uh, reasons I presume. 
a cheap pair of headphones, not not too bad, it says anal on them. And it comes with these, you know, ends for the headphones. They're okay, they don't have a volume control on them, I don't think. Nah, pretty cheap. And what else do we have? We still have more stuff in here. I don't know, that's just junk. I'm not sure if this is some certificate of authenticity or something. QC pass. We have a, oh, we have an Australian wall connector. Actually, I'm not sure if it shipped with that because I bought this in Australia. They may have just included it. So yeah, it's alright. Now back to the tablet. I'm going to try turning it on and I will see if it has any charge. Yep, it's currently turning on now. Anal tablet Novo 7 Aura 7.0. We have an anal boot screen. I presume that's how you pronounce it, anal. <laughs> a pretty nice boot screen. Um, I might end up putting a custom ROM on the device though. I've already seen one floating around on XDA developers, which gets rid of all of the Chinese software on the device. Um, and as you can see, it has Android 4.0 on it. So the first thing I need to do is change the language to English. Funnily enough, I already have a video on my um, YouTube page showing how to change languages in um, Android 4.0 if it's not already English. Um, now here's the test. Can I remember how to actually change it without um, looking at my video? Okay, I'm not sure if I can. I presume that is settings. Oh, yep, there's the picture of the A. It should be the first option. Oh, yep, oh, and they even have English Australia. And now I can click the home button. And as you can see, it is all in English apart from the app which obviously aren't English, like that one. Um, though, yeah, it feels, um, you know, reasonably responsive. It does have a capacitive um, touch screen. Yeah, I probably will end up putting a custom one on it. I don't want all of these, you know, Asian apps that are included on it. So yeah, it does um, feel pretty um, responsive. Um, anyhow, that's it for this video. Um, I might, I'll probably end up uploading a couple more videos. You know, it's even got Angry Birds Rio included on it. And Fruit Ninja and a few other games. ES File Explorer, etc. Um, yeah, though, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask me. And thanks for watching.